All right, guys, we are back with another episode of Wrath. I've done a little bit of fortifying. This back row here, I'm not going to fortify much more um, until I get... I think there's engines later on in the game, and I don't want to um, fortify and then have to break it down anyway. But I've got all of these fortified. I've got all of this situated. I moved the animal pen over here. I'm probably going to build a shelter for them just because. I'm going to move this over there, but not until after I'm done at this place because it'll pop up and it'll make it so that I'm not anchored and it'll be a little bit annoying. So we're just going to wait on that. But this is what the inside's looking like so far. And I'm going to build another um, layer up here, probably. Maybe. I've got to put a house somewhere. I might put it out here, but I like having that there, so I'll think about where I'm going to put it. Probably build, build it up just because. But we're going to go and explore this now and see what we can find and what we can get. Obviously there's crap. after somebody. I think Bruce is a shark. Yeah. Got a shark named him Bruce. Bruce is a good name for the shark. We'll probably start calling him that. And we're just gonna pick this one. Yeah. Go in there. Oh, no. January. It's been weeks. Just me and Owl here now. Stuck on this platform. Sparrow took the boat. I, I can't figure out why. Everything is just so secretive. I mean, I don't even know their real names. I only know the team at Celine got a prototype working and they needed more people. We were supposed to be those people. And together we would find a way out of this mess. Somehow. Owl's yelling up in the tower. Or maybe the radio picked up something. Is it you, Sparrow? Here. Alright, we're gonna go up here first. Great. Like that, everything that we can get there. I guess. Ooh, a headlamp. Owl's radio notes. 22nd of December. Distress call received. Balboa Island. 9th of January. Koku won't accept facts. 2nd of February. Gunshots in the distance. Tangaroa City. 14th of February. Sparrows calm. That's Celine. 6th of March. Another distress call. Varuna Point. Missing child. 16th of April. Rafters dreaming of utopia. Foolish hope. Okay. A lot of signals. Maybe someone will come and help us. We're not starving yet. The reactor at Celine might be the only chance we have against this endless ocean. Genuine smile. 
Our things you betrayed us, but you must have had a good reason for leaving us here. I hope you make it to Selim. I hope you finish the reactor. For all of us. Hey, somebody left somebody somewhere. There's a person. Hey, a friendly face. Wondering how I ended up here? Long story. Really, really long story. Anyway, nice wrath. If you need any repairs done, let me know. I've sort of ended up as a maritime expert, mainly due to the world sinking. Awesome. Let's head out. All right, then. I don't think that she joins me on the ship. I think it's a playable character. I can make my character look like her or something. all this stuff away and then go we'll see what we can find underneath the water. Alright, I already have that one. So we're going to put this in there. Let's see what we covered here. Yeah, that's kind of a cool shell. Alrighty, we are going to head down, but I am going to put my gear on. Maybe I should try shooting him with my arrow. Stop for the night. I'll climb the tower. Maybe it still works, apparently. Should be two weeks before we reach the limb, with the teams not responding. You might say things are a bit tense. The other facilities are underwater, so if Selene is lost, we've got nothing. And now, Sparrow's not talking to either of us. I really hope we're not the last hope for humanity. Looks like the shark just missed us.
Oh, good, got him. Not even any metal here. Alright, we're gonna call that good because I don't want the stone. So, I guess that I'm gonna put all this away and bring you back. Alright, that's put away. Now we need to change the number that we are going to. I think it was on one of the notes we found. Yes, right there. 4233. Oh, All right, so it looks like it is to that side further, which is not going to be the easiest. Oops, I probably should turn that off. Don't want to waste the battery. So we are going to break this down. Alright. Pull the anchor. As soon as we're clear from the rock, we are going to turn the cell around. Start going that way. Go that way. Alright, and I guess I'll bring you back. It when we get to the other place, or the next place, or if we get to an island first, we will see what we're doing. Um, I'm not sure which one of these it is, but I guess we'll see. It looks like we're coming up to a boat. I think it's the next place we're supposed to go. I'm going to try and come alongside at this boat slide. that sail. Okay. 
try and go up next to this rock here. We're going to get geared up and see what we can find in there. I've got to make a headlamp from the... Not what I wanted to do. Headlamp from that blueprint that I found. Um, learn it. Oh, I need to research a battery. Cool. So... Copper, scrap... going. Let I grab one. Oh, I put it back. That's what I put back. I'm trying to put that back. Jeez. because I know I'm going to need one of those for to make this thing. So we will put that there. Research. going to need those to begin with. Sixteen of those. I'll bring an extra one back. Alrighty. And we're going to look around the outside of the boat first, I think. Definitely some weird noises coming from the boat. There's a mango tree and a watermelon down there. Okay, I got another seed. I can go plant that. Okay. I take this stuff off. There. Good. 
good thing I came back. I was almost out of water. Okay, I think we're just going to go ahead and go in, see what trouble we can get into in here. No idea what that does. from the captain. We're heading for one of the high rises down south. I can only hope you come to your senses and follow us. You knew the city was a failure, Ruben. Why do you always have to be so stubborn? Alrighty. Looks like that's a one-time use. Ooh, what is that? An R-O-U-S. Everything in there. So it's like one of them rat things in here. found their way to the bar. As a military man, I think Olaf would at the very least be practical. And yet they're all treating it like a luxury cruise. I'm sorry, Ruben. I shouldn't have left. Another mechanical part. Interesting. I saw a large rat last night. among the lockdown supplies. They laughed at me. I miss you, Ruben. Oh, that's where the mechanical parts go.
have another one of them rat thingies. Ooh, that soup I drank has added more to the food bar. Hopefully that goes down slower. Okay, we need to take the bolt cutters back to that first room. Flash at that. Got that rat's back. Nope. I kept up kids complaining about my rat. If he does it again, he will be reprimanded. The crew doesn't listen to orders. I'm shocked by their undisciplined nature. Somehow, they believe rank and prestige disappeared with solid land? No, they will not be allowed to mingle among my esteemed guests. And they will certainly not be allowed further rations. They should be grateful. I am the only reason they are alive. I can't spoil myself. in a matter of weeks. <laughs> I promised them increased rations if they could bring me one of these ridiculous lurkers alive. Of course, the food shortage will need to be handled. Tonight, we're discussing which staff members are most suitable for... termination. Hey, that guy does not sound nice either. everything in that crate. Okay, we're gonna go back to the boat and unload our stuff. Can't get in these doors anyway. Nice, throw it out. That's not the button I meant to push. Okay. Put that there. I'm gonna take those off. We need to get us a chicken because we can make that. Those are two eggs, potatoes, and mushrooms. Oh, a chair. I 
think before we go back in, we're going to go on the other side of the boat. And, oh yeah, I took the stuff out. Nice. Um, see what else we can come up with over here. We found a mechanical part on the outside of the boat on the other side. I'm wondering if we will on this side, too. probably loading up our inventory a bit more than we need to but okay it's a lot loaded more than we need to so we are going to go back to the um raft empty it out a bit and then get going so i will bring you guys back for that okay guys we are back here we're gonna go in here and see what trouble we can get into this way. It goes upstairs. I don't know that we want to go up just yet. Let's go in here. in this one. to keep the engines running. That is what you... That's one of those damn rats. What... What are you doing to it? Get out! Do your job. Interesting. Digit code, we haven't got that just yet, apparently. Okay. Mechanical part. I 
think that that's five. Nope, that's six. All right, so we need to go back down to the bottom floor and grab that whatever it is that that makes. silly thing. more to your um, water level. That's good. Remember to open these outer doors. Like that stairs to go up. Right. Key card. the key card for that other door downstairs. We will go there in just a minute. Alrighty. Cities in the blue. 
calling the cost of the project's realization borderline criminal and its scope outrageous at least. Despite vocal opposition, the Floating Cities project does not appear to be slowing down anytime soon. According to former General Olaf Wilkstrom's latest statement on the issue, we are fully aware of the strain this puts on our people. Nevertheless, our options are becoming increasingly limited. We must pull through this together or join Stockholm beneath the waves. Wilkstrom refused to comment on the rumors regarding the modification of his personal yacht. When further asked about the Floating City Project's whistleblowers, Olaf Wilkstrom chose to terminate the interview. Reaching out to these anonymous sources, we were able to further corroborate his story. Hey, that's interesting. Okay, I'm going to head back down. Probably have to kill those guys again. Yep. <laughs> Is, is I'm getting a lot of raw meat from this. Okay, I don't think that I've been anywhere that requires the green tea just yet. By that guy. Okay, that requires a bomb. Sound like a fun time? Alright, I think that I've got everything I need. Okay, interesting. Um, there we go. Got everything I need to go back all the way down the stairs. All the way downstairs to that very, very, very first room. Well, not the first room, but the first end of the corridor there. And get the bomb made and then come all the way back up here. But we do have to stop at that one office that's down these stairs. We'll see if we can get down there without... Nope, we can't. <laughs>
Argent, there's mist now. We don't know how far the water's risen. The maps are useless. We need to... The crew are planning a mutiny, Captain. It is time to act. Mutiny? They're just trying to stay alive. I... Are you mad? I gave you a chance to live. Now we have to protect ourselves from the masses. We will use the lurkers to our advantage. Okay, before I go all the way back up to the top, I'm going to go back to the ship and empty out my inventory. Okay, the raft, whatever we're floating on. This is a ship. Anyway, go back to the raft. So I'll bring you guys back when I'm back ready to come back up to the top of this one. Okay guys, we are back to trying to work our way up to that top room where the said it needed the bomb. So I might end up going in there, but I think that I can put up one more layer. walking around. Okay, so we got a steering wheel blueprint and an engine blueprint. So that's what we've needed. We will probably need to make those before we get going again. Okay, we are going to see what else we can find. get up any higher so we are going to just go back to the ship we we're going to grab that point though So we need to learn these, and in order to make those, I have everything. Grab some planes. 
those away. We're actually going to need metal. Probably going to need all the metal. Go going to need that. Board. Need that and that. that. Get some more cooking. Make one of those. Of those. We might need a couple more engines, but we fit on the steering wheels. So for the engine, Your silly thing. We are going to have to build a bit, so come on, go away. There we Okay, I think that this means that one engine will power 100 of these platforms. And I'm pretty sure that I have more than 100. So I'm going to start by trying to make more engines right away. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need at least one more. Going to actually need to move these. Move it over one. There we go. And we are going to reinforce these right away. Just because with my luck, he 
told they would come and eat them. So. That's the one that we're going to. Alright, so I think the three should do it. Um, we found some biofuel, and we're going to use that as planks for now. So. Alright. Okay, that takes way too many planks. them all the right direction. And we are going to put this to Balboa Island, which is 0583, so, which is that way pretty much. So, we're going to raise you. Turn you that way slightly. And turn these on. And hurry up and get back over here. It looks like we're headed straight to it. Pretty much straight to it. Straight enough. If I remember right, Babola Island's pretty big. We'll be able to see it. Alright, 
So we will just monitor these and see what we can collect along the way. So I need to go and turn off that thing. Okay. So we'll just keep chugging along here, see what we can come up with. And I will bring you guys back when we're at the island. Okay, well, this isn't the island we're looking for, but those look like different trees than I'm used to seeing. So we are going to stop here and see what trouble we can find here. One good thing about having engines is you can back up. So I'm just going to basically run into the island. Oh, that's a lot of junk there. Alright, we are going to clear this out, get geared up, and go see what we can find on this island. Alright, here we go. Not sure what fun we're going to have, but we're going to try and see what we can come across. Ooh, I can chop pine trees. Nice, I got a lot of things off of that. Pine cone. Well, I already have a stack of planks. Okay, I made a net because I figured that I might run into bees or something that I needed on here. I was right. So, we're going to try and catch these guys. Yes. Okay, that means we're going to be able to make honey. Why is it so hard to do? There we go. There's a chest over here. It's cool. Like there's another crater over there. But we are going to run back and empty our inventory. Alright, we're going to go along the beach instead of going up. I 
Hey. I was hoping for more dirt. Oh, there's a llama. I should have brought the net gun. Oh, I'm sure I'll have to run back. Oh, what's that? Oh, nice. A bear. Things are kind of aggressive. These things are really aggressive. Alright, so the trick is to run into water, apparently. Oh good, we've got more leather. To make the backpack. Be another tree over there to pop down. Doesn't look like there's another bear yet. Still can't. Still need to find the trash compactor or whatever I used to make the trash cube. There was one more bunch. Yeah, right there. I chopped this tree down too. Good, I got the bird seeds. I can make them now. So I can get just planks from Bert and the pine trees, apparently. I don't get food from them. But I get a lot of planks. So we might need to change what we're planting.
definitely worth it. I think that's everything from on the island. Probably could try going under the water and seeing what's around it. Oh, I need to go and get the llama. Jeez, that's a quick little bugger. Now the woman has a friend. Where it looks like the normal dog is trying to get away from the shark area. See what else I can find. Well, I'm going to collect this stuff and then get going back towards, or not back towards, but further on towards the Balboa Island, and I'll bring you guys back when I get there. <laughs> Looks like we are getting close to Balboa Island. I got it the right way. Still 600 away, but it's kind of huge. Not sure which side I need to go on, but I think it kind of goes this way, so we're going to kind of go that way.
I've got a bit of time to collect these and see if I can put more um, planks in the engines. Wait, we're almost out. Run back up and find us a place to land. Wow. We're still a ways away, apparently. Might be a beach right there. I think we're going to shoot for that. Well, we made it to the next island. Looks like it's going to take quite a bit of exploration. So we are going to get geared up and get going. But I will, um, we're going to end this one here. And I'll bring you guys back in the next episode. And we will start exploring this island and see how far we get. Thanks for watching, guys.